Here's a moment of honesty and clarity from an EV enthusiast. I'm all in on electric cars. My wife and I have been driving them for about four years now. Our first car is the 2016 Nissan Leaf. Uh, what I'm sitting in right now is a BMW i3, which is actually, side note, owned by my mom. Uh, but I drive it way more than she does, <laughs> even though we don't, you know, we don't live in the same house. She's just very kind and lets me drive her car. That's a side point. Uh, when you're enthusiastic about something like I am about electric cars, it's very easy to kind of sugarcoat everything or more, probably more accurately, paint everything into the best possible light. And I certainly catch myself doing that at times. Um, so anyway, in this video, I just want to be brutally honest about the challenges of driving an EV in the winter. Uh, this may apply more to older EVs like 2017 and back. The battery management system in these is not always really good. Uh, the preconditioning for the battery is almost like a premier feature that doesn't exist in a lot of older EVs. So a couple things happen. One, it's really slow to charge. We've talked about that on this channel before. It just slows down the charging speed dramatically when your battery is super cold. But another thing is, is the range drop off is, I think I've said in the past, it might be 15% up to 30%. I realize those numbers are just numbers and they don't always mean, mean anything, but it's pretty drastic, the drop off in range. Uh, here's an example. Let me just show you what the BMW i3 says we can get now. Uh, and then I'll turn on the heater and we'll see how it changes. So let me just turn on the heater. Not without the heat, that's what it says we'll get. Turn the heater on, full blast, because it's really cold. It's like one degree here today. And there you go, it's like, turn it back off so we can hear. It's like a 30 mile range drop off. I mean, that is a big difference and it matters a lot. I'm a commercial real estate agent. I drive a lot for work, I just drive a lot. And normally, spring, summer, fall, and most winters, I have no problem never uh, needing to charge throughout the day. I charge it, plug it in at night, all day I can drive, no problem. But lately, I've had to plug in a couple of times uh, in the middle of the day, which I've said on this channel, you should never have to do. And I agree, you shouldn't have to. But when it's one degree out, and before today, it's been in the teens for several days in a row here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, just really, really cold. The, the electric vehicles, especially the older ones, are going to take a big hit on range. So a little brutal honesty from your friend Chad from Drive the Lightning. Buyer beware, you're going to lose a lot of range when it's really, really cold. Now, if it's, uh, you know, 40 degrees up to, you know, like 98 degrees, we don't have issues. But when it gets cold, like in the 20s and then in the teens, it can be brutal. And these last two weeks have been pretty brutal here in uh, Michigan. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, I am very enthusiastic. I'm all in on EVs. I'm never going to drive gas again, but uh, try to be honest as I can. And when I catch myself putting stuff just in the best light, as if I'm trying to sell these things, which I don't sell these things. I sell buildings. Uh, and I catch myself, I'll make videos like this. So thank you for watching. And we appreciate the members of the channel, especially because you keep the wheels churning on the positively charged YouTube channel. And we appreciate all the support we've gotten. We appreciate the coffee. Recently, uh, a couple of you bought us coffee. Uh, Tom Boucher bought us coffee. Uh, Bill from Chasing Aptera video, a uh, cha YouTube channel bought us coffee. Bob Newchow bought us coffee. We appreciate all of you for that support. Uh, it goes to cameras, it goes to microphones, it goes to travel back and forth to car shows and so forth. And we can't thank you enough. Have a great day, everybody. Stay warm if you're where I'm at. Please try. Another video? This one right here will kind of give an idea of how this car, the BMW i3, does in deep snow. So check that out right about there. Goodbye.